What's up guys, Gray here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out a new set of anamorphics that we just picked up. They've been out for a little while, but we just got a set of them, and that's the SLR Magic Anamorphot Cines. We have the full set, so the 35, 50, and 70 millimeter. You can also get these in two versions, so there's a 1.33x squeeze, and then a 2x squeeze, which is for the micro four thirds size format. This is for Super 35. We have a ton of tests to run these through today. We're gonna to be looking at breathing, flaring, bokeh, distortion, sharpness, and then chromatic aberration. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the lens test of the 35 millimeter T2.4 SLR Magic Anamorphic. So first checking out the breathing test, what we're gonna do is rack focus from close focus all the way to infinity. And if you look on the edges, you can see that the frame sort of creeps in and I'm gonna speed it up and do it a little bit faster here so you can see it a little better. So just going from one end to the other end, just so you can really tell what's happening. And if you look on the right side of the frame, you can see that darker gray area of the wall, there becomes more of it as we pull focus closer to us and there becomes less of it as we rack to infinity. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the flaring test and we're wide open at T2.4 on this 35 millimeter lens. What we're gonna do is just pan and tilt around, keeping the light inside the frame so that you can see how it reacts in all the different corners and edges. And you don't have to look too close to see all the flares that this lens has. You see a lot of those big blue orbs almost in the frame. And then you see some streaking directly from the light source, some blue horizontal light streaks, which look pretty cool and are very J.J. Abrams. Even going into the corners, you see a little bit of flaring and you'll see it a little more, I think, once we go outside of the frame. So now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pan and tilt around, but with the light outside of the frame because it reacts a little bit differently. And you can see a little bit of that blooming in the corners. So once we go to this bottom corner here, and you can't, yep, you can see a little bit of that rainbow right there. It's not too pronounced, but it's definitely there. I know you see it a little bit more on the 50 millimeter and 70 millimeter lens. And those two blue orbs right in the center are pretty interesting. They're very sharp, even though we are wide open, we're not getting that really smooth edge. They're pretty sharp and have a hard edge around them. Next up is the bokeh. And for this, we are focused at three feet, six inches away. And we're just going through the aperture range from all the way closed down, which is at a T16, all the way to a T2.4. And you can see the bokeh in the background, you get a ton of swirling of the lights on the edges. There's so much distortion with this lens and that aids to that extra stretchiness on the sides. And you get those nice anamorphic bokeh shapes being very oval and oblong rather than circular. Next up, we're gonna look at the edge distortion and sharpness. This first shot is at a T2.4, which is wide open for this lens. And just panning side to side so you can see how much distortion is on those edges. You can see my face curving with the barrel distortion. And then coming back to center, it looks pretty good in the center, but back out to the other side, again, very distorted. Sharpness does seem to fall off a little bit as well. So that for this lens, you'll definitely wanna have your subject center framed. And then just to sharpen it up, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but now we're gonna be at a T4. So we've closed down a little over a full stop and that's gonna sharpen it up a little bit more on the edges. It still falls off, but you get that crazy amount of distortion, which is almost a fisheye-like look. And then just panning over to the other side, exact same thing. Really cool bokeh. Definitely at a T4, you're getting some rounder bokeh in the center, but then it stretches out and does that sort of compression on the sides. Okay, now let's just take a look at sharpness alone. So you can see that band on the bottom, that's a 300% crop in of the shot above it. This is a T2.4, this is a T2.8, then we're gonna go to a T4, and you're starting to see it sharpen up a little bit. Again, this is 300%, so you'd never be cropping in this much, but it's just to show you how sharp these lenses are. This is a T5.6, and then lastly to a T8 where it sharpens up quite a bit. The last thing that we're gonna look at is chromatic aberration. So what I have set up here is a light shooting into a white bounce board so we get that really nice contrast between the dark light and then the white on the other side. The shot on the side is a 200% crop in on this so you can see the chromatic aberration as I just slightly shift focus back and forth. You can see we're getting some blue color fringing and then some orange yellow fringing when I'm racking focus past the light. Hope you guys enjoyed this little test of the SLR Magic 35 millimeter anamorphic lens. If you did and you wanna check out the other lenses, they'll be linked to at the end of this video. And if you wanna see more about how these things handle, check out the things to know video that should be coming out later this week. If you wanna see more anamorphics on the channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every week, and I'll see you in the next one.